Taken is a book written by Aaron Bowman, which takes place in the fictional town of Claysut. There are no men in Claysut. There are boys, but every one of them vanishes at midnight on his 18th birthday. The ground shakes, the wind howls, a blinding light descends, and he's gone. They call it the heist. There is only one way to escape the heist, climbing over the wall that surrounds the entire town, but that is a suicide mission. Burned bodies of the desperate boys always return. Blaine Weathersby has already come to terms with this heist. After all, he has already disappeared. His younger brother Gray is the protagonist of this novel. His heist isn't for another year, but after Blaine's heist, he's the only one of his family left. His mother died when he was 14 and his father was heisted long ago. Gray is stricken with a wave of grief, that is, until he finds the first page to a letter from his mother addressed to Blaine. The letter makes Gray question everything he has ever known. Desperate for answers, he does the unspeakable. He climbs the wall. And what he finds on the other side changes his life forever. About a year ago, two of my friends and I wanted to create a book club, but we didn't know which book to pick until one of my friends suggested Take It. Unfortunately, the book club was disbanded before any of us could finish the book, but I loved the book so much that I finished reading it anyway and even decided to read the rest of the trilogy. I absolutely adore the fast pace and the plot twists around every corner, and I'm gonna be honest here, this series is probably my favorite young adult series I've ever read. My first key passage comes from the first chapter, on page 10. It states, This is why everyone likes Blaine better than me. This is why they'll all miss him but barely notice when I'm gone. He's calmer and has a better heart. Looks at the whole of things. But me, I'm reckless, always reacting to some feeling in my chest. I chose this passage because it is when we first get to learn about Gray's character. We learn that he often thinks before he acts and he tends to compare himself to his older brother Blaine. My next key passage comes from page 74. It states, I spend the majority of the next two days in the woods, alone with my thoughts. I hike to the northernmost points simply to stare at the wall. I imagine the answers sitting on the other side, waiting. They tug at something in my core, urging me to climb, telling me that everything I want to know lies just beyond that towering structure. The idea of the truth, the fact that there could be more to this place than any of us know, begins to drive me mad. What if the heist really isn't as straightforward as we believe, as consistent and unavoidable as death from old age? Aren't I proof that there's something greater at work? I chose this passage because this is when Gray first starts to question everything from the heist to the clay soot itself, and this is where he gets the curiosity he needs to climb the wall. This is where the real fun begins. My final passage comes from page 214. It states, Their eyes bear down on me. Inquisitive. Curious. I have no clue what happens now. The only thing I know for certain is that this vote could be the end. I'll have spent the last days of my life chasing after truths that never revealed themselves, hurting the people I love in the process. Why was I so stupid? So reckless? I need to get back to Emma. I struggle against my bindings. I have to get back to her. My breathing is suddenly erratic. I chose this passage because we get to see Gray get a little bit of character development. He reflects on his reckless personality again, this time regretting his decision to climb the wall and leave people behind. The first theme that I took from this book was that one should always embrace change, whether it be good or bad. While rereading this book, I noticed that a black crow keeps showing up. After looking up what crows symbolize, I found that the crow could be a symbol of change. Whenever the crow appears, Gray is about to experience a major change in his life. For example, the crow is mentioned on the day of Blaine's heist, the day that Blaine is going to disappear forever. Another example is when the crow shows up right before Gray climbs the wall. The crow guides Gray up the wall, and after he climbs it, his view on clay soot and the heist change. The many changes that Gray experience in the book vary in consequence, some being good and some being bad. No matter what, Gray embraces these changes and uses them to improve his life. The second theme that I took from this book is that curiosity doesn't always kill the cat. I say this because Gray becomes curious about the heist and what is over the wall. Because of his curiosity, he finally figures out the truth about Claysut. When he learns this, it only makes him stronger and strengthens his desire to set things right. Aaron Bowman's writing style is very fast-paced and suspenseful, which keeps the reader on the edge of their seat as they flip through the pages. She also uses a lot of short sentences that give the writing more impact on the reader. Her use of first person allows the reader to experience Gray's situations and emotions firsthand even if he is an unreliable narrator. 
This allows the writing to have a greater impact on the reader by making the emotions more realistic and easier to resonate with. Overall, I think that Taken is a truly fantastic book and a must-read for all dystopian enjoyers.